I'd rather be fishing. <laughs> Capture the good, bad, and the ugly. That's the one I've won everything with. Back on track. Kind of yeah, we had you know after seeing some of these guys doing their um, you know video in the shoots and their squads and you know videoing some of the places they go and on you know on their iPhones, I sat and watched you know been you know I like watching documentaries especially about the old surfers back in the day you know John Minnis I know John Minnis pretty well and he he did that film for Tuesday and it was kind of talking to him and you know hearing about all that 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 whole surfing culture back in the back in the day and then watching the movies and some of these. Uh, some of these uh, documentaries that they actually made themselves. Like, all the pro surfers that circuit, they're all pretty good friends. They'd all hang out in the houses in, you know, in Hawaii before they went to these tournaments and they'd be crashing on the floor on couches, wherever. And they'd all just grab their shit and get in a car and go and surf for the day. I thought that's pretty cool how just one of the guys happens to have an old style video camera and just go around and catch, capture the good, bad and the ugly. And I'm like, you know, we have a lot of good, bad and the ugly in shooting. And like, you know, most of the, 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 the better shooters get on pretty well, we're all friends, and kind of hang out together, you know, not maybe not all the time, but at times when we go to these different, you know, tournaments, especially the bigger tournaments, we're so spread out during the day, but in the evenings we all get together and, you know, kind of hang out. So I thought, you know, we, sh we should document some of this stuff or, or try to do it unscripted, unedited, just, just, just film ourselves being ourselves. And then I kind of, you know, spoke to Rollins about it because, you know, Rollins is, has been talking about doing different things through social media for a while. And I thought, you know, we should, just, you know, do something along the lines of some of the documentaries that I've watched. But it's it's hard to video yourself. Um, you know, he's good at it. He's an exhibitionist. You know, I, I bet he stands and probably plays air guitar in front of the mirror. You know, that's the type of thing he probably does. Naked, air guitar naked in the mirror. That's not a visual I want to kind of keep in my head, but I'm... He's a bit of an exhibitionist, so Ronins likes to, you know, he's got video cameras in himself, he's got one up here in his golf cart, he's got one up there, he's got one for the back of his head, he's got video camera, get cameras in everything. I feel sorry for the poor camera, for lots of reasons, <laughs> actually. Hi everyone, Gary Fitzgerald here. Have you ever been injured by a personal insult from me on Facebook? Have my targets hurt your ego? Have my insults with the reality of your well, let's say lackluster performance, hurt your inner child. Well, here at Gary Fitzgerald's FLC Recuperation Center, we are building here at the FLC in, a, in Whitehall, Illinois, we can help you overcome the hardships you may have felt at my unkind words on the social media. Please enter the new wing of the Testicular Fortitude Center. Over here will be our new state-of-the-art help you grow your balls back and find yourself and stop being such a bitch. Because here at FLC, we care. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people in the shooting world that don't realize, or not the shooting world, but there's a lot of shooters out there that don't realize a lot of the better shooters are good friends. And I think it'd be kind of cool for them to see the inside of what we do after we better shoot and then we all get on, we all give each other shit, we all root for each other on and off and I think that's what helps promote the actual sport of what we do too. Just so people get to know, hey look, these guys have fun when they do it. They are serious, but they also have fun. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see the Brad and Michelle video of that actually, if they both turned out that would be But <laughs> uh, If we do this right, I think it's a good opportunity to really um, give the general populace an idea of you know the shooting world what we do and also gives our sponsors an idea of not just who we are on a professional level but also who we are on a, on a level that they may not get to see um, other than when they see us in shoots. So anyway this is the last day of the Gator Cup. 
Okay, so the last rotation just about to start and we have run to time every day. Actually, every event apart from one pickup yesterday on the red when we had three machines go down pretty much back to back and one of them had to be up a tower. Um, it's, we've run and they caught up, they caught up by the next rotation. Great, so it's a fantastic crew at Quail Creek. Um, everything was laid out good. Um, blue, tar, blue course was um, substantially harder than the red course, but that's kind of what we wanted. It's, it's nice to have a tournament where you can go to one course and shoot good and put a big score in, and then the other tournament, you know you've got to keep your act together because it's going to bite you in the butt if you don't, and vice versa. You can have a bad day, come out here and shoot a mediocre score and go on the red and shoot a really good score, and you come back up the, you know, back up the scoreboard. So um, everything's run well, I think. Um, I think the targets on here have been challenging, but fair, you can see them all. Apart from, you know, Zach was crying about one orange target going into the grey. But, you know, you shoot pillar lenses, you shoot your shit lenses, you're going to shoot shit scores, unfortunately. 88 on the day he shot it was a shit score. But, you know what, we all know Zach. He yeah, acts like a talks like a person, he shoots like a shit. He's done it. I mean, it goes. Part of the course is that. So, um, anyway, we just ignore what Zach says most of the time, anyway, so. Oh! Which uh, which gun do you think I should shoot, Malcolm? <laughs> no, what gun should I shoot? Oh, that, I think one. You need to see that one. Do you? <laughs> that one. You don't need to see your car, do you, Zach? Uh, I'll take a look at it. There you go. You got one. One little hole. Yep. That was a missable bird. Yeah. Oh, that bird was very good. What's up? How'd you do today? Shot up, shot better. Shot better. Missed one on the red. Using what gun? DT11. That's the one I've won everything with. Yes, but I like to play with my other guns. They get lonely. People think I'm crazy, but I. They're so similar. But I do shoot this one like this. Probably because I have like a hundred thousand more rounds through it than any other gun. So, the missable bird. Tell me. Tell me. What oh, gotcha. it was a tower back here on eleven or twelve. Big high tower coming from behind you, and obviously here at Quail Creek, you got all these roofs, and it's just a weird line. It's coming out of there fast and real easy to miss. Missable target. You can't get mad at those. You got all the other rest of them now. Yep. All. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a lot of rabbits. They must have had a, the Target company must have had a discount on rabbits because there's rabbits everywhere here. When they throw a rabbit in the, in the air, it really tricks you because your brain thinks what a regular target's doing, but rabbits are usually a lot slower. And so you just shoot in front of them all the time. It's all impossible to back up. And uh, sure enough, I had problems with rabbits in the air over there. And uh, actually, uh, I dropped several targets on one station, which is not a good trend at a tournament like this. You know, drop one here, one there kind of thing. I, I dove in and, and grabbed a few missiles with both hands. I left a pile of rabbits if anybody's hungry. <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 I'm going to throw my gun in the woods. Right. When I don't start in the rut, I get mad and sabotage myself because I can feel how much under where I ought to be. And then I just get aggravated and I obsess on that. Instead of just letting it roll off. I let all the years of mental work and training and practice and everything, knowing what I'm supposed to be doing, I just let it go. And I think everybody does that to some degree. So you need a good station like that, you know, on a harder target. When you run it, you get back on track. Put you right in the, back in the right frame of mind. Red shot 92. Um, it's not good enough. I, I was down three on the whole back side, come around to one, and I dropped four on this side. Which none of them should have been missed. So, what, describe the targets you missed. Uh, hard ones? No. no. Three of them were rabbits, and one was a uh, little trap bird over here. So, no, this course should fall in 96, maybe 97. So, we'll get them tomorrow. Uh, super sporty. Startle Station 8. I think there's only 50 birds. And then I got the main at 6:30. Kind of windy, overcast, matter 
rain this afternoon, so hopefully we can avoid that. Uh, feeling pretty good, slept good last night, so we're gonna see what happens today. Let's see, right now with these new barrels, uh, the bird probably is giving me the most trouble. I'm, I, I shot it pretty good yesterday, but leading up to this was a, like a trap teal. Um, seeing it through the gun early, that, that's been uh, something I need to work on, but um, it's getting better with it. It's getting better. Hopefully we won't see any of those. It'll be all right. <laughs> Taking care of business. Well, this course is everything they said it was gonna be. Um, right back through here, about 11. It's like a bunch of towers, a bunch. And uh, I didn't do too good during that. This other stretch, I'm shooting it all right, but it kinda sucks your soul out just a little bit, so. I'll be all right tomorrow. All right. What's up? <laughs> How's the shoot going? It's going good so far. Where are you at? What you doing? We are at the Gator Cup. Oh, what station we're on? Cooking along. Finishing up, mate. Rocking the How you liking the targets? Not bad. A Joe, typical Joe targets. Everything's doing something. Uh, like I said, everything's got some twists and curls and everything else. Like I said, I love shooting Joe's targets. It's right up Joe's loud. Right up Joe's loud. How you doing everybody? Will Hinton here, also known as Willie Nation in some parts of the world. I'm actually here in Tucson, Arizona shooting the second part of Olympic trials for USA Shooting. As a lot of you know, I joined the Army and actually became an international trap shooter, but once a sporting shooter, always a sporting shooter. So we'll have to see how Olympic trials go here, um, see who makes the team, and then after that I plan to be back in a lot more sporting, see a lot more good friends and a lot of people that I haven't seen in a long time. So just remember, I have been removed from sporting for just a little bit of time, but I will be back. <laughs> you mean a 60 foot tower on the bridge front 110 at 60 yards? No. And that rabbit there always just gets into you. It's a horrible target at the time, and you throw for the bit, you know, a bit of spring. It, it makes it tough, and as I say, that, the kid goes in there and smokes it, but everybody overthinks that bird, so. The Rabu's going to be uh, always going to get people problems, and when people see that 100, you know, that 80 foot tower, uh, 60 foot tower throwing the 110, that's going to get in people's heads too. But you know, we've had a lot of people either run it or miss one, and they said it wasn't the lead, it was the line, and everybody treated the line. So, but you know what? It's a big shoot. It's a championship shoot, and um, the targets need to be a little bit tougher. And more than more. I think we need to have courses where you know. You know, has has harder targets, but I think it looks like from what I'm seeing, the balance is about right. One harder, one. So I think we'll, we'll see tomorrow. But I, I have a feeling that this is probably shooting about six times harder than that other four. That's what I'm thinking. I think all in all, we're it's running well. We we got a really good crew here, guys. You know, we have 15 minutes to switch, load all the plays, get the stuff down, load everything up, and when they have so. Got a good crew of guys and uh, there's a good team here, so I think uh, not, people aren't shooting the high scores that they're used to shooting, but at the end of the day, when you come to shoot a shoot that's a championship shoot, you need to be shooting the harder target. If you want to get to shoot easy, it's steep. Simple as that. Don't film this. Oh, come on. No, we're going to film this. No, you cannot. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, we're going to no, film no, this. No. Should we film this? No, I did not. Yes. But I know who you lied to me before. I have lied to you before. <laughs> So I could have had a really good score there. So I had, considering I, I, ran, those I was down those nine, and I ran one through eight. Still got it. Come to nine, <laughs> never hit that trap bird. On nine? The <laughs> rabbit and the trap bird. You couldn't see it. Fast, right? Screaming fast. That's what I always say when I try to stay above one, it. I can't see it. Try to stay above it? it. Uh, what? No. What, are you trying to chase the back of it? Yeah. And it didn't work? Why? Stay in your gun and come out of your gun. Stay in the gun. You gotta come out on that. I figured something out here. You gotta come out of the gun. You need to coach. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you need. You gotta come out of the gun. You gotta go. Zach Kimo. Why do you gotta come out? Yeah, why? Depending on your gun, you might not see it coming like him. Champion, he didn't see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> he just said he missed the bird because he can't see it. <laughs> the trap is right there. Get it with a ping pong ball. <laughs> trap right, buddy. 
can't see it because it's behind the gun. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Anthony, that's the one advantage I have in the center. I, I can look around both sides of the gun. And I see right there. <laughs> both of them, right? Yeah, on the single. Both sides. Both first. Yeah. <laughs> on single. Yeah, you both got right. Both of them. I'll so, have one. I thought the prelim was terrible. Probably got it. Pretty boring. Yeah. Okay. I know Doug hasn't set a lot of targets. Wow! Which we can tell by the prelim. Yeah. <laughs> but but uh, the main event was good. The, yeah. rat, the flying rat was a little too hard. Um, I haven't seen Hence by the scores, you know. But uh, it was a good course. The main event was awesome. Was a, there was a lot of good targets. The big crosser off the tower was all you wanted, you know. It was tough, but 80 yard crosser, but you could hit it. I ran it. Uh, flying rabbit, about three yards too far. If you're a professional target setter, Doug. If you're an amateur, you're doing pretty good out there, though, in the blue. I got some bad news for you. Cold got rabbits like four stations in a row over here, though, somewhere in the world. Cool? Yeah. Yeah. No, it was a good course. I was bored by the prelim, though. It's a little, e a little easy and a little boring. It was. It was. You know? He spends more time in the weight room than he does actually out on the course, so I can understand that. Wait a minute, where's. Matt Fisher. One of the main guys in our crew, forever and ever. Um, so we're gonna check in and see what Matt's up to. Matt. What's going on, boys? I'm currently uh, driving around South Texas for work. Um, my shooting schedule's gonna be a little bit thin this year. My wife and I are actually in the process of building a new house. Uh, but I'm still shooting, I'm still practicing, I still got the itch. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing everybody at the next tournament. Because I will be back. One last thing, don't forget to subscribe to all of our friends' YouTube channels. Nick Berry with Laporte USA, link below. Russell and Lauren Mark with Go Shooting, link below. My personal channel, Rollins Brown, link below. And last but not least, Behind the Break, link below. Thanks guys, catch you next time.